Hello guys, welcome back to my channel JNTU Explainer. Today I am going to discuss topic number two in cyber security, layers of security. What is layers of security? This is basically referred as defense in depth. It means we have to cross many levels to crack the system or data. So, uh, which involves multiple overlapping protections designed to safeguard system. That means all the layers where layers of security are overlapped on one by one so any type of malicious code has to uh, reach the system or data through crossing each each layer of this so let's discuss what are the layers there are totally seven types of layers layer number one is human layer two perimeter security layer three network security fourth application security layer fifth endpoint security layer 6. Data Security Layer 7. Mission Critical Assets Thus, how a layer of security are layered? In the same way, this is a house which has a road or some type of boundary wall. This, this is the first layer of protection to the house. In the next step, the fencing of the house is a second layer protection. The third, the main gate of the house is the fourth uh, protection. The door, the main door of the house is the fifth protection. The like if something which is precious to us, we keep that in Almira. That means Almira is a uh, one more uh, layer of the security. In the same way, uh, data is precious to our system. If someone wants to steal something from us, someone, someone wants to theft something from us, what what he has to do, he has to cross every layer of this to reach the Almira. In the same way, attackers cross every layer of this to steal our data. So let's understand what are the layers in it. This human layer, the human layer is often regarded as the most vulnerable layer. It mainly focuses on the human element within an, within an organization. For example, it includes security awareness training, strong password policies and multi-factor authentication it is a layer where the uh, where the human has to do something by uh, like he uh, he can protect his data by keeping uh, difficult passwords by keeping double authentication factors etc so let's discuss number two perimeter security layer perimeter security layer is the wall of a fortress i have just discussed it is like the fencing, fencing of this house. In the same way, it is the fortress of a, an, an, any type of system, network, etc. So, uh, it serves to protect the network by controlling incoming and outgoing network traffic based on the organization previously established. So, let's come, let's discuss the third uh, layer, which is network security layer. Network security layers is basically uh, it tries to protect them all the applications and all the devices which are connected to the network this this protects the communication between these two uh, basically in uh, in network layer it uh, includes the use of secure protocols like there are many protocols which are present in a network one of the main thing is https https hypertext transfer protocol the S in this is secure. Before we used to have HTTP, but now uh, some new protocol has been launched. Let's discuss the fourth layer, which is application security layer. This layer focuses on keeping software and devices free of threats. We will be learning what is meant by threats and uh, types of threats in our next video. So, and the main main thing is the application security measures include regular security scanning and testing to identify and remedy vulnerabilities and employing application security this means this uh, this scans our uh, complete system or uh, our applications to, fi to find is there any type of threat present in our uh, system or not in the fifth security layer endpoint security layer the endpoint security layer concentrates on safeguarding the individual devices that connect to the network we all know what is endpoint security layer. Like endpoint is something which ha which which has reached this point endpoint. So in a net we in a network we we know the many devices are connected. 
in this it protects one particular devices which is connected to the network now coming to the fifth one data security layer data security layer is dedicated to protecting the data residing in the network focusing on maintaining its confidentiality like when the end, end security layer is protecting these devices the data security layer protects the data present in that device or present uh, protect the data which is present in the network Com it protects the data which is present in the entire network entire devices etc it main thing is to keep the data confidential like without knowing the any third person to know about it rather than the network and the de devices and the last one is mission critical assets these are the layer focuses on safeguarding assets that are crucial to an organization's operation and business continuity we all know what do we mean by assets assets are someone's uh, like property or someone's who own them so if if we protect this type this type of information or uh, any type of um, uh, safeguarding to that asset then there are many chances that these assets will be uh, safe rather than going uh, in hackers uh, in hackers uh, side this is that's it for today's guys so i'm coming with uh, the entire unit uh, one by one covering every topic in it so kindly subscribe to my channel so that i will get motivated to make more videos that's it for today guys thank you so much bye